All right, y'all. I parked in the neighborhood. Just got word from a, a friendly neighbor. Um, we are able to take refuge in shade. Um, there's someone sitting on the end of the sidewalk just kind of waiting to see how things are going to progress. All right, look like we got some folks already. Let me see what we got here. I'm trying to walk all over people's grass. How you doing, sir? All right. Yes, sir. So we've uh, some of us parked over here, and this uh, nice uh, woman has uh, graciously offered her yard for shade. This one right here. Yep, right here. Oh, if we need it. But yeah, we've been parking. We parked over here along okay. the sidewalk. Thank you. Yes. All right. So I'm gonna go over here and walk y'all. Uh, yeah, I got got my pack support pack, folks. What's up, pack? All right, so we're gonna find out uh, why we can't, why we can or if we can. I think you should ask. Oh, ask why we can't walk down there, if we can walk down there. Nope, wait for me though. You stay with me though. Yes, we gonna, we gonna have this young man ask for us. I'm going to do some research okay. on that security company. Okay, we'll wait. Yeah, thank you. What do you say? He's got to clear with the supervisor. If we can walk down? Yeah. Okay. So I told him to wait. This is a peaceful protest. Yeah. Yep. Excuse me? All right, great. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. All right, so we're going to walk down a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't get that part. <laughs> All right, so we were able to get access. We are walking on foot down the driveway of Lakeside Academy. <laughs> Woohoo! All right, y'all. Um, uh, looks like there may be another uh, security car at the end of the driveway. You have to walk to here. <laughs> right. <laughs> you have to go. Uh, this is a breeze. Um, it's shady if you need to come here. I know you're... Uh, didn't you feel that? Uh, a little yeah, bit? Yeah, yeah. It was just good product placement. Right, right. That's all. I was like, mm, no, I'm good. Okay. Thank you. Uh, well, all, right. all right. They have a lot of security here for our facility to be closed. Where was the security doing the right protocol? Right. I mean, oh, look, we wouldn't be here, here if they used oh, all oh, these tactics constructively. It's a long driveway. So we're walking down the driveway of Lakeside Academy. Uh, we were granted permission to walk down. There's this block at the top. So see how this. Uh, the vehicles are for, in formation. Stay up here. Right. That's not too short. So is this like a, a war? I don't know why there's so much security. It's like yeah, this, this is ridiculous, all the security. We can make it through the second protocol. Like All right, board. folks that are trying to call, I'm live streaming. I'm here at Lakeside. Second Come on down. We're at the second checkpoint. Oh, no, yes. Yeah, so <laughs> <laughs> All right, news, main stuck media. Yeah, I need to come on out here too and cover this. Don't touch nothing, Ryan. All right, so. Security. All right. A different. Oh, that's the one that was dancing earlier. Hey. hey. Another one. Okay, we're allowed to walk down and down here. 
you want to walk, you can walk. Okay. And, uh, I'm not stopping anybody. Okay, okay. excellent. Yeah. We're, just, uh, the, the, We're here for the peaceful. The vehicles are just for no vehicles, actually. No vehicles, okay. but we can... That's it. If okay. If you protest, that's perfectly fine. Like I said, we're with you guys. You guys yes. Walk, so we walk. go up, we get signs, we can come back down the bridge. That's fine. Okay. That's, that's okay. All right, let's do it. We, right. found, we made it through the checkpoint. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Why did we just walk down here? Because we had to make sure that we were covered by everybody so we can go get what we need to come back down. Right? All right, everyone. So we are able to um, access the property. We just can't drive a vehicle on property. So uh, please make sure things that you bring are mobile. We're going to have to walk. But they let, that's good. They let us in. This is a nice walk, though. So as you all can see, we are um, ascending back to the top of the driveway. Okay. I got my sign in the car too. Just no vehicle traffic, but we can have foot traffic. But we could do foot traffic down here and then drive later. Yeah. Right? Yep. So we'll have the foot traffic at Lakeside, and then um, we'll do the vehicle procession to the juvenile facility on Gull Road. So security guards are cooperating. This is great, y'all. Don't want any bad media around this. I don't know about y'all, but after this, I'm gonna head on down to Bronson Park for the open mic. I think I'm, there's some things I'm gonna have to say. All right, so we're gonna go back up here top. I believe uh, Reverend uh, Pickney uh, is here. For, for those of you that are not familiar with him, Google him. A few years ago, I was going down at Benton Harbor. Petitions, ballots, look it up. Yeah, I know right they're cutting under the grass. Now that we're at the top of the hill. Yeah, beautiful, uh, beautiful property. But lots of nasty things that go on inside. The structure. Why? Whew. All right, we made it back to the top. All right, y'all. We're here live at Lakeside Academy. Kalamazoo, Michigan. We're expecting lots of folks uh, to show the solidarity and support for Michigan, specifically Kalamazoo, to get rid of for-profit youth services. So park your cars across the street. There's neighborhoods, d and down the street. Somebody bring some ice. I got a, a cooler. It's got some water bottles in it. I got a few cases of water. Somebody want to bring some snacks? Run, run, run. That'd be good. Quick, quick, quick. Go. But uh, we're gonna get situated. We're gonna wait for y'all to come over and join us at uh, Lakeside. Yeah, say that one more time. Please bring some snacks. Yes, bring some snacks for the baby. <laughs> Need to keep his energy up. I was gonna stop the store, but I didn't know what we needed. Well, we got a DNW up the street, so right. they'll they'll be able to capitalize on our protest dollars, right? <laughs> <laughs> Are they locally owned? We need to do some research. You know, I'm just gonna have to be mindful, do more research about what what uh, area. yes, what businesses. Oh, and he said bring stuff to do. Can you tell him that again? Bring stuff for us kids to do. Oh my gosh. I love you. You like guys. bubbles, sidewalk toss. <laughs> you know, stuff like that. Don't bing make signs toss. on the ground. Bing bag toss. Yeah, you oh, I didn't bring the bing bag toss with me. You did? No, I didn't. I wasn't thinking about it. Oh, ask them. Oh, being summoned, please bring a bing bag toss. So for those of you that's tuning in, uh, unarmed security guards at the top, but we were granted permission 
uh, to walk down the driveway. So we are able to peacefully protest on the property. Just no vehicle traffic. So when you all come, there is no um, parking on Oakland Drive on the side. But I think maybe um, if it gets overcrowded, be able to make provisions for that. Hey, all right. See, folks is, folks is getting here. Hey, how you doing? The gentleman over there said that you were one of the organizers, or are the organizers? Well, uh, Miss Marcina, she on her way, but yeah, if you, uh, yeah, we just get disassembled. Okay. You're gonna, you're gonna set up over here on the wall? Yeah, we're gonna be parking along here since we can't uh, access the driveway. Yeah, we can only walk. Okay. All right, thank you. All right. Yeah, yeah. Oh my goodness. Okay. We can walk. Oh, we want to talk to her. Yeah, we will definitely want to talk to you later. Yeah, yes, ma'am. Yep. Side. No, no. And you know what? The workers here. What? There's a doctor's house. My grandson. I can't see her name. She's she's an angel. She saved my grandson. And you know what? She's African American. I love everybody. Mm -hmm. She saved my grandson five times. She escaped. I filed a police report two weeks before Cornelius Cornelius's death mm. because Mr. Taylor, who works here. Punched my grandson who was autistic in a test. He did? Yes, he did. I filed a police report, but you think the police officers will call me back? They haven't. Mm. This little boy's mom's not here. And this this is Kalamazoo, right? Yeah. Uh -huh. It's the prosecutor that makes the investigations happen. Well, yeah, but I'm he got to make the report, that. though. If he I the made the report, mm -hmm. and he made oh, the, the report. Oh, they get the report. Mm -hmm. Well, you know what? It's, it's going down because this could have prevented it. They wouldn't listen to my grandson. Then police took him to right back. Mm. Mm. I hear that. So if I have to go to the prosecutor, I guess that's where I'll go. Because his life could have been safe. Mm -hmm. If they would have helped and listened to my grandson. Mm. Everybody's getting so hurt today. Yeah. Yes, ma'am. Gonna be here. I need some help over in Eden in the county. Down and we need your help. We, I need support. Yeah, I need support. Mm -hmm. All right, we we'll get you some support out there. Bay Pines, we got a one where uh, Ricky, Ricky Ramon, he needs support too. Bay Pines, that's state owned, state operated. They're coming from Detroit. They're supposed to meet me yeah. here. Yeah. Okay. Three and a half hour drive. She helped me out. She set me out. I've been trying to get over with her for months before COVID-19. Mm. Before it. This was a child. He didn't have a mom. He didn't have a dad. 
Mm. He did not deserve to be killed at the hands of people who are supposed to love and protect him. Amen. I agree. Wow. And that could have been my grandson next. And you know what? He Hello. told the, the doctor. Hi. Hi, my friend. Hi. He told the doctor. Hi. Last time I saw you, please you were in the court room. Uh -huh. And they told us we couldn't make eye contact with you. Yeah. A few of us from Town Zoo. I'm so honored to be here. Thank you. 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 For profit industry for our youth needs to stop. He has nightmares to this day. This is my grandson. How old is your grandson? He's autistic. He's 15, mentality of 10 to 11. How did that happen? They restrained him and punched him. And oh my good. goodness. No, I don't know if y'all can see the, the, the glare. Oh. The closer up ones. There's more. He's 110 pounds. That's his wrist. Look at his ankles. Wow. No, there's more. He needed stitches. I picked him up this way. Look oh at that. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Looks like a burn. Mm -hmm. um, I know you all can't see those pictures. These pictures are disgusting. He needed stitches. And what facility was he Is it? Was he at? What is this happening? Right, right here. Lakes? Right where he watched Cornelius take his last breath, yelling, I can't breathe. So um, those marks that I saw on this woman's grandchild, if a parent did that, had to did that, that I'd be in jail. I have been accused of that myself. I actually probably still have an open CPS case right now. If if what I saw, this woman's grandson, if I had a did that to one of my, my children, thank you. I would have been in there right now to this day. Because you know what? They yanked my granddaughter from me. They yanked my granddaughter from me. That's why I need you guys in Ingham and Eaton County, MDHHS. I need your help. All of you guys to come to Eaton. Oh yeah, all, all, all the all the layers, all the layers of racism is opening up. Never been in trouble in my life. Never harmed a kid in my life. Never would. Not a violent person. I it's so hot, I get white, don't you? I apologize. All right, you guys, I'm going to uh, sign off for a moment and uh, get some shade and uh, regroup and see what we're going to go from here. But please, you guys, come on out. Uh, that was terrible, what I just saw. I know you couldn't see those, those pictures. <sighs> I'm telling you, if a parent had done that to their child, what I've experienced myself in my own home. Just allegations, all someone has to do is to pick up the phone and say that you've done something. And for a for-profit, even a state-run facility that's supposed to help youth, carte blanche to a la carte, to what charges or if anything gets investigated, that's a bull crap. This is why you know, foster parents, adoptive parents are criminalized. That's why nobody wants to go through the process. They make it hard. You know why? It's because they want our black and brown babies in that system. They don't want them to go to support a family. They want them to go into this, this prison industry to make that money. That's why they, don't, that, that's why they make it so hard for children to be adopted by their relatives. And then we have our children end up in facilities like this right here, Lakeside. All right, we're gonna get our sign making materials and all that out.
and uh, we will see you all um, at the bottom of the uh, property. All right, more folks are uh, pulling up. Uh, please be respectful of folks' uh, yard. Um, we are parking in the neighborhoods. Folks uh, seem to be receptive uh, to that. Again, if you're just tuning in, there is a peace, peaceful protest scheduled for 2 o'clock this afternoon, and then we're going to proceed uh, driving through town to Go Road, where the uh, juvenile justice complex is uh, located. Or I think this news guy wants to interview me, but no. All right, y'all. See y'all in a minute.